If you've ever dreamt of vacationing like a Kardashian Jenner, now might be your chance. In early 2021, sisters Kylie and Kendall Jenner set off with their designer bikinis and clothes aboard Kylie's $73 million private jet and headed south to vacation in Costa Correas. This private oceanfront resort community doubles as a nature preserve along the Pacific coast of Mexico and has long been an under the radar destination for the rich and famous. The place where Kendall and Kylie stayed is known as Sol de Oriente and was recently placed on the market for $15 million. The stunning property where Kylie and Kendall Jenner vacationed back in 2021 can now be yours for $15 million. The sisters went south to the area of Costa Correas after going to Aspen, which is a secluded resort community set on the ocean along the Pacific coast of Mexico that is apparently a hot spot for celebs. Considering this spot is rented for at least $6,500 per night, it's likely only somewhere that the rich and famous can afford. Known as Sol de Oriente, this estate is set on a cliff and is a fabulous orange-hued villa overlooking the ocean. Kylie and Kendall showed off plenty of selfies while staying here, which also depicted the compound's stunning architecture and unique setting. This property was created in 1968 by Italian artist, banker, and real estate developer John Franco Brinon, who took a deserted stretch of rainforest and coastline between Manzanillo and Puerto Vallarta that had potential. He took this remote 20,000 acres of land and eight mile coastline and envisioned a high end hideaway for the rich and famous to escape to. A handful of architects were hired over the years to create colorful and stunning homes with local artisans. And John's goal was to create a new form of architecture. The private locale now hosts about 100 residents of different sizes and several dozen five star rooms at a boutique hotel on the beach. Some celebs who frequent this area include Tom Ford, Robert De Niro, Mick Jagger, and Uma Thurman, just to name a few. Sol de Oriente in particular was completed in 1999 and offers owners or guests ultimate privacy. The structure is topped with a triple-decker palapa and surrounded by a moat-style infinity-edge pool with a main villa shaped as a star and known as the castle. The castle boasts three deluxe bedroom suites as well as thousands of square feet of open-air living spaces that open to terraces and to the luxurious swimming pool. In total, Sol d'Oriente offers six bedrooms across four separate structures. Then below the pool in the lush jungle, you'll find two casitas that each boast their own bedroom, bathroom, and a patio. Finally, a two-story tower can be found near the edge of the cliff, which has another bed and bath, while a long stairway connects the bonus structures to the castle. If that's too much exercise for you, the tower also connects to the main house via a funicular. And elsewhere on the property, there are extensive staff quarters in a separate building. The mastermind behind all this, Brignon, passed away in 2023 at 96 years old. And his vision and legacy for his mini resort town is now being carried carried on by his family and heirs. Now, the place is available not only to rent for vacation, but to purchase too. Of course, Costa Correas only marks one spot where the Jenners decided to get away. And once they returned to LA, the sisters returned to their respective mansions. That being said, let's take a look at Kendall Jenner's main home, a peaceful estate which she purchased in 2017 for $8.55 million. Her Spanish-style mini mansion is tucked away on a private its street behind the guarded gates of Mulholland Estates on just under an acre of land. As you likely know, Mulholland Estates is a celebrity favorite, so Kendall's home also has a Hollywood history. The house formerly belonged to none other than actor Charlie Sheen, but the model has since changed the interiors to fit her personality. Kendall's crib has a completely different vibe from any of her sister's homes, and she told Architectural Digest, I like a house that has character. When I walked into this place, I was immediately drawn to the peaceful, Spanishy, farmhousey vibe. My life involves a lot of chaos and travel and high energy, so I wanted a home that feels serene, a place where I can simply zone out and relax. Well, her home spans 6,625 square feet of space and is jam-packed with amenities like a tranquil courtyard, an art studio, and much more, along with five beds and six baths. Kendall had a preference for neutral colors and a bohemian vibe when designing her home, alongside designer 
designers Waldo Fernandez and Kathleen and Tommy Clements. Kendall made a few structural changes to the house too, including changing two of the bedrooms into a pair of glam and fitting rooms. I mean, what girl wouldn't do that? The Mediterranean style house boasts a welcoming courtyard with fountain to set the tone for what's to come. And inside there's a split level floor plan throughout. There is a large dining room that Kendall decked out with a wooden table, an office, family room, and fully equipped gourmet kitchen. Kendall transformed the kitchen into a dreamy space with marble countertops, teal colored cabinets, and a large island, which is good because apparently she likes to cook. There's also a media room, which opens to the yard, as well as an office space with fireplace connected to a breezy walkway in the courtyard, offering warm and organic textures with earthy tone. There are soaring beam ceilings, along with a wall of arched French doors to outside and a large cozy fireplace. Furnishings are plush and comfortable with two sofas and a soft white rug underfoot. Kendall doesn't like to throw parties, in fact, she prefers a more low-key vibe, saying, I like turning on music, lighting the fireplace and candles, and watching NBA games with my friends. Off of a bar area in her home, there's a dark toned powder room with a 300 pound sink to keep with the earthy vibe. At the time of purchase, there was an outdated movie theater here decked out in an all red design, which Kendall opted to transform into an art studio. Kendall's master suite offers more beam ceilings and a large luxurious bed. Other features here include glass doors to the outside space, a sitting area with fireplace, and an impressive ensuite bath. Her bathroom actually had one of the biggest makeovers of all. They expanded the shower to twice its original size and added glass to give it an open feel, also fully raising the ceilings. We also can't miss the massive brass tub that she has. It's a statement piece to say the least. Like I previously mentioned, two of the bedrooms were also turned into a dressing room and glam room, while the nearby powder room boasts some of Kendall's framed magazine covers. Then outside, Kendall's backyard is protected by trees offering extensive of privacy. Amenities include a stunning pool and spa, a large lawn, and plenty of alfresco lounge areas. Thanks to the home's shape, many of the rooms have glass doors that open to the outdoor area as well for easy access. On the other hand, stylish mom of two and mogul Kylie Jenner spends most of her days at her $36.5 million compound in Homeby Hills. We know this girl loves her real estate, but this resort style spot is the largest property in Kylie's portfolio thus far, spanning over 15,300 square feet of space along with four separate guest houses and a 24 hour guardhouse with full bath and kitchen. The mansion is located in the exclusive neighborhood of Homeby Hills, Los Angeles, which is in the western area of LA. It's bordered by Beverly Hills in the east and Bel Air to the north, with Sunset Boulevard being the main strip nearby. In fact, Homeby Hills is home to the iconic Playboy Mansion and, of course, many other celebrities too. The main mansion boasts seven beds and 14 baths all over a single level, with an open plan layout, soaring ceilings, and massive walls of retractable glass to connect the indoors and outdoors. The amenities at Kylie's Pad are endless with multiple bars and games rooms, as well as a massive indoor home theater and an outdoor projection screen. The main courtyard and infinity pool are located at the center of the property and most of the common rooms open right up to the space as well. Elsewhere, there's a gym, spa, modern fire pits, basketball courts, and multiple terraces. While Kylie is known for her stacked real estate portfolio, most recently, she started construction on her brand new custom-built mansion in Hidden Hills, California, where she'd already owned a handful of homes. But this plot of land was purchased by Kylie in 2020 for a whopping $15 million, breaking records and spanning five acres. After the off-market, all-cash sale of the property two years ago, Kylie's design plans were approved for a 12 car garage, guest house, barn, guard shack for full time security detail, sports court, and a pool. In fact, Kylie is not the only celebrity to have purchased this property, as Miley Cyrus bought it in 2015. The singer's horses live there, but she never got around to building a home on it and sold it three years later. All right, everyone, after checking out Kendall and Kylie Jenner's stunning Mexico vacation spot that's for sale, as well as their main LA homes, that's gonna conclude today's tour. But before we leave, answer me this. 
If you could buy a permanent vacation getaway anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to talk. And if you would like to check out another tour before you're finished, then stay tuned for this one where we look inside the homes of their mom, Kris Jenner. Bye. After months of planning and construction, Kris Jenner unveiled her current $20 million home in Hidden Hills, which is located next to her daughter, Chloe's mansion that's still being built. Chris had her house reveal coinciding with her 66th birthday in November 2022 and showed off the glamorous estate on their show, The Kardashians. From the series, we caught glimpses of the stylish piano room and bar, the screening room, the kitchen, and much more. And Chris's new house is as chic as you'd expect. Of course, this means that the momager had to let her former crib in the same neighborhood go, and in 2020, Chris sold it for $15 million in an all cash deal. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Near the end of 2022, in an episode of The Kardashians, the momager of six decided to show off her highly anticipated and newly built mansion in the family's favorite neighborhood of Hidden Hills. And it's as chic as can be. While the home was formerly said to be move-in ready, Chris wanted it perfect for her and spent months on constructing and designing the interior. The mansion is located in an exclusive gated section of Hidden Hills, California on Ashley Ridge, a pocket which is considered to be the most desirable by many. Not to mention, her daughter Chloe purchased up the estate right next door, which was built at the same time. Not only will Chris be right next door to her daughter, some other high-profile neighbors include the likes of Lori Lawlin, DeMar DeRozan, and more. This sprawling estate cost Chris $20 million and it's supposedly slightly larger and of course newer than her last property. On the Kardashians, she was throwing a housewarming party, which coincided with her 66th birthday in November 2022, and she invited her friends and family to see her stylish space. Her daughters, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, and Kourtney Kardashian were all there, along with some of Chris's closest friends like Faye Resnick and Ellen DeGeneres. The construction of Chris and Chloe's mega mansions were documented during the building process with Chris's abode. We can see that hers is made of dark gray brickwork just ahead of Chloe's in the building process. Chris's new home has sprawling lawns and a grassy yard with a pool along with mature trees and other plants. Elsewhere, there's solar paneling. While Chris revealed some of her home interiors on the show, we can also see how the new builds look and get a better idea of those new ones in the neighborhood. While while the Ashley Ridge mansions were already gorgeous, many were ripped down to make way for the new builds. They're apparently even more impressive. Chris's new residence was built in 2020 by the same local developer as her daughter Chloe's home, and it packs in over 10,000 square feet of living space, sitting on 1.5 acres of land. Both Chris and Chloe's massive new homes were built in the trendy modern farmhouse style, and the two properties were formerly part of one single large estate that rambled over three acres of land. This mega home was once about 20,000 square feet. Not to mention, Britney Spears even leased this former mansion in the past. The land was previously owned by construction mogul Ron Tudor, and the former mansion was eventually torn down, leaving the property uninhabited for years until Chris and Chloe got their hands on it and started to build their dream mansions. On the Kardashians, Chris shows her guest rooms like the screening room, the piano room, and bar, and her daughter Courtney stated she loves that every room is infused with her personality. Chris worked with designers Kathleen and Tommy Clark and Waldo Fernandez to make her home vision come to life. And she had worked with them before on the interiors of her home, which she lived in prior to this. We could see that Chris's new mansion has a mostly neutral palette with glamorous details throughout and plenty of open spaces. One living room has a sparkly bar on one wall full of crystal and another wall that's made up of glass sliding doors opening up to the patio. She has a large formal dining room with a long table table to entertain, big enough to seat all of her party guests. 
And this was where Chris prepared a toast on the episode. Then her kitchen has light colored wood with black countertops, as well as a large center island with snack bar seating. The most interesting feature here has got to be the color coded fridge to hold various foods. Chris's statement making refrigerator up the organization game to a new level, as it's matte black, massive and offers three doors. The middle section is glass and shows it's stocked up with green colored produce such as asparagus, artichokes, herbs, lettuce, avocados, broccoli, cucumbers, and limes. So we can imagine the other sides of the fridge would hold foods in another color and style. Another common living area in Chris's home featured a wall mounted TV, fireplace, and plenty of space to gather while her screening room is spacious, plush, and dark. On the show, Chris also gives a peek at her fully equipped home gym. And then she shows her friend Faye her room that's fully dedicated to her designer dishware which she collects. In March 2022, her daughter Courtney's website Poosh gave the first look at Chris's quote unquote dish room, which is essentially a walk in closet stacked with pristine, well lit shelves displaying fine china. There are no less than six sets from Hermes, one Gucci herbarium set in green, a custom set with depictions of the Kardashian Jenners on it, an entire set of Royal Copenhagen's Flora Danica porcelain pieces, which are handmade and painted to order. No two Flora Danica pieces are identical, and just to give you an idea of what these plates are worth, a full set sold for over $62,000 in April 2019. In Chris's well stocked bar, she also has the most stylish glassware, offering plenty of silver cocktail shakers and what might be Williams Sonoma martini glasses. The mirrored cabinet here is also stocked with a full set of Baccarat crystals, which Chris had said on Instagram in 2018 everything tastes better in Baccarat. In her living room, Chris also has two small drink tables to set her martinis down on after a long day. And while it might not sound like much, it's pretty luxurious to have furnishings that only serve a small purpose such as that. While Chris's living room has modern touches, such as the marble fireplace and sleek sofa, there are softer looking and more traditional details too, such as a white armchair with ruffled skirt, which adds sophistication. Since Chris has settled into that new and stunning Hidden Hills retreat in summer 2020, the momager sold her main residence in the same star studded neighborhood for exactly 50 million dollars in an off-market all-cash deal. Chris bought the modern farmhouse style mansion about three years prior for just under 10 million dollars and hired the acclaimed designers Tommy and Kathy Clements along with Waldo Fernandez to give the home a sophisticated makeover. After this her glamorous space was published in Architectural Digest when Chris gave them a full in-depth tour. Looking at photos of the mansion now, it seems that Chris has somehow made the place look even nicer and she likely added some upgrades too. Inside the estate spans 9,459 square feet with six beds, eight baths, rich hardwood flooring, and a lot of fresh white walls. This home boasted a glass front door that swung open into a large foyer attached to the formal living and dining rooms. The former with a fireplace in the dining room with custom furniture and a vintage credenza that her friend Ellen DeGeneres used to own. Chris's chic chef's kitchen had Italian marble and top of the line appliances. And this space opens to the family room that she had outfitted with a rare sheep sculpture while living here. Her former master suite was also downstairs located in its own spacious and secluded wing, with a walk-in closet and massive bathroom decked out in a marble overload. On the upper level of the home there was a second family room with wet bar, the guest suites, and a home gym. Outside, property boasted a swimming pool, outdoor kitchen with fire pit, and rolling lawns surrounding it all. We'll likely get more glimpses at Kris Jenner's current Hidden Hills home in the future. For now, we definitely have an idea of the stylish touches that were created throughout. And we can see that her new space is even more impressive than her former home. Considering the property was $20 million, I sure hope that it would be everything that Chris dreamed of and more. So while that's gonna wrap up today's house tour, before we head out, answer this question for me. If you had as much money to spend as Kris Jenner does, would you ever invest in a dish collection as expensive as hers? Or would you prefer to collect something completely different? Let me know what you'd most like to collect down in the comment section, as well as what you thought of Chris's homes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer, 
follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye.